That's a lot better. Let's get to the video, guys. Hey guys, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how much you can make mining off of nice hash with your Z9 Mini and also I'm going to go over the issues with the Trezor wallet and Zcash. Stay tuned for this video guys and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and check out what's going on in the world of Zcash first. So again, uh, right now uh, Sapling is brand new. The first block was mined October 29th at 2.15 and again right now it's a uh, November 2nd so this was a couple days ago um, this did affect some of the wallets out there including Trezor so I'm going to show you how to fix that issue and how to actually act uh, see your active Zcash going into that wallet and how to transact and move money out of the new sapling uh, Zcash types of wallets okay guys uh, first off let's go ahead and check a look at how much I was making mining Zcash off a of uh, nano pool so right here you can see I was making uh, or mining 72,000 solutions a second off of five uh, Z9 minis um, and roughly making about 740 to 830 dollars a month doing that uh, my Z uh, my, my Zcash miners my Z9s are actually overclockable to about 16,000 solutions and uh, if you look right here in this link I'm gonna go to show you how to overclock any type of Z9 mini okay guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the error I was getting when trying to look at my Zcash wallet on Trezor so right here it was saying the Bitcore server did not seem to reply again the reason for that is you actually have to update um, through a beta updation uh, type of a network not through the regular um, Trezor type of update uh, this one actually was kinda hard to find I'm gonna leave this in the link actually below I mean or in the description below and this is what you have to click on so you're gonna click on beta wallet .trezor .io, and it's gonna show a pretty much on top of here it will show uh, update uh, available and you're just gonna update like any other update and then you'll be able to access your Trezor wallet so um, I'm gonna go to show you pretty much my balance again I've been mining Zcash for probably about two weeks now so I'm gonna show you how much I made okay guys one of the cool thing about the Trezor wallet is even though you can see my little pin pad right here you can't see the numbers and um, the numbers are always switched on the Trezor itself so you know even if you guess my pinpoint location it's not gonna you're just still not gonna know my pin which is super cool so I can show you everything on my wallet so right here it's loading it's taking a little bit of time to load I'm guessing because of the sapling update um, is kinda new you know especially for Zcash it's only a couple days old old so as you see right here I'm mining a little over two coins a week with my 5z9 minis and over here it's showing me a week so you can kinda add that up to pretty much the same um, you know this would say three uh, but you know really in actuality um, I haven't really been mining that uh, I like to switch pulls I guess you can say but two hundred and eighty eight dollars is not too bad for a little over uh, two weeks and again, before we can turn our, uh, before we can look at our nice hash, we had to turn our Z9s back on. This is going to get a little bit loud here. So they're all connected to one power strip right here. And again, they're not even pulling a thousand watts at the wall. So you can hear these little guys turn on nice and smoothly. Oh, they're so quiet. Wait for them to actually test out the fans. Let me go ahead and turn on these other two over here. Again, same type of deal all connected to the same power switch and this one's actually running off the uh, bitmain power supply that's recommended for these Z9 minis and not too bad I have two more um, power cables right there that I can put on to more miners if I want to and as you see right there I have no longer a GPU miner yes guys I do not use GPUs to mine anymore the reason for that is it's just not efficient you're not getting any profits it's just you know 
you what I did is I sold my GPUs and bought the coins that I wanted to buy instead of mining for it because again if you're waiting for that big bull run that's the best thing to do anyways guys listen to these bad boys turn on yeah that's the full fan right there hundred percent again it's testing out all the fans I have my Z9 Mini set to 60%. So let's go ahead and wait for these to warm up and then we'll see how much we're making on Nice Ash. Okay, so there's the results. It's gonna be a little louder in here, of course, because of the Z9 Minis that are powered up. I have a total of five in my room right now. Um, and you know what, for Texas winters, these are the perfect thing to actually warm up your house with. Um, my house is not extremely big, and they do a very good job for actually keeping my whole house warm. And like I was saying before, it doesn't get you know any colder than about 40 degrees over here, so they do a pretty good job. Uh, as of right now, I do keep them inside my office, but eventually when I do get some more of these, I'm going to actually update my garage and put some more wall outlets out there that are able to actually do at least 115 watts at the wall so let's go ahead and take a look at how much i'm making so right here with the five z9 minis is doing about 24 dollars a day again you can just go right here and check my statistics and let's see how much we're making so not too bad there's always a little bit of rejection here when you're using nice hash and i really don't know why that is but normally if it goes below let's say 80% I would probably switch to not a uh, nano pool for a little bit and then come back uh, that's normally what I do um, but you can see right here I'm it's showing acceptable uh, uh, accepted speed of 81,000 solutions not bad at all for these 5z9 minis um, anyways this has not been on that long at all so don't really look right here I, I went outside fed my dogs came back inside just to see what it would be at um, so that's pretty much what I'm making right here and again when you look at my Trezor $289 for a week and a half um, and I like to move my coins from Nice Ash once a week to Coinbase so the cool thing about having uh, Nice Ash is you can actually transfer your coins for free to Coinbase and right now Coinbase has I believe seven different coins you can trade with so let's go ahead and take a look at that guys Okay, as you see there, there's actually six tradable coins right now from Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and uh, ZRX. Um, so those are the uh, tradable coins right now. Uh, not that, you know, not that many coins, but it's still not that bad. You can buy with your bank account. Um, and like I was saying, the cool thing is you can actually transfer your coins from NiceHash directly to Coinbase instantly and for free with no fees attached. So you can kind of see from right here a little bit of transactions made. So this little icon right here, this is Coinbase Pro. I'm going to show you how to do some cool stuff over there. So click here. As long as you're actually logged in on Coinbase you can log in here just by hitting login and it will actually detect you're actually already logged into Coinbase. So now that you're in Coinbase Pro, this is what I recommend people to use. It looks a little bit more complex than uh, Coinbase, but again, this used to be GDAX. And the cool thing about this is transactions to external wallets are free. So you can trans uh, do a transaction, send your coins to your Trezor wallet, and bada bing, bada boom, you did it for free. Or when you use Coinbase, uh, just the regular one, they actually charge you fees. And also, it's free to sell. So what you want to do here is you want to go to My Wallet. And you can see my small portfolio right here. Nothing too crazy. Um, this is kind of what I just got into pretty much this month. Uh, and I do actually take my regular Bitcoin out of here. As you see, I don't have any type of Bitcoin at all. Um, everything moves to my Trezor wallet if it's a big amount. 
So I keep these here, so if I want to trade, I can trade, which is not that bad. I have $228 here, and like I showed you, my Trezor wallet has $288, and this is all within a month. So you can kind of see how it adds up to the big picture of like $825 off of 5 Z9 Minis, which is pretty good. You know, it's not too bad. It's keeping my house warm. And what I'm going to do is just hold on to these uh, coins, hold on to my Zcash, and this, you know, trade when the bulls start running again. Again, guys, this is kind of just like an update video and kind of a video on how to actually fix the problem right here with your Trezor wallet simply and easily just with the links I'm going to put in the description. So these are the two links. One's going to be for the beta wallet that I'll show you how to use. And the other one's going to be for a Coinbase link. If you use this link, it's an affiliate link. Um, I get a little kickback if you sell uh, or buy $100 worth of coins, which is not bad. It's a win-win. I get $10. You know, you get to use Coinbase and who nobody loses. So that's a pretty cool kickback from there. Anyways, guys, um, pretty soon I'm going to get some more Z9 Minis. I'm going to be mining some different coins with uh, Z9 Mini. And I'll just keep you posted. Anyways, guys, this was the Ghost Bit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Ghost Bit Miner out.